Yeah. Huh. It's KU. You know it. You're human crystal. I'm gonna <laughs> just take them away. Uh. uh. I'ma take away the thoughts that are holding me back I'ma take away the feelings that are holding me take back away. I'ma take away the people that are holding me take back away. I know my worth, reclaiming my power, power. I'ma take away the thoughts that are holding me take back away. I'ma take away the feelings that are holding me take back away. I'ma take away the people that are holding me take back away. I know my worth Welcome, welcome, welcome back to CCU Tarot Scorpio All the returning Scorpios, I just want to say immense gratitude for all the personal readings and donations that you have sent my way. And all of you guys considering to uh, join the Patreon for the extended reads and then for uh, the Q&As and the lives where we will be discussing a lot, answer a lot of the questions um, in the spiritual realm. And then um, what we're doing as far as investments in the financial realm, okay? Your network, your net worth, your network is your net worth, all right, everybody? I did draw one card from... Um, the Sex Magic deck, and it's the Five of Chalice, okay, the Five of Cups, and then, I don't, what's this new deck called? Do you know what the, you remember what the new deck is called that you got? The blue one? Yeah. Uh, energy, energy Healing Oracle. Oh, so we got an Energy Healing Oracle deck, and I, I had a pre, I did a pre-shuffle with that. Okay, I just want to say immense gratitude to our ancestors and guides. To all the new Scorpios, definitely hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment by the end of this video to let me know that you're rocking with me in plain sight. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone, thank you for joining the giveaway. Okay, check out my Patreon. Check out my uh, music. Check me. Check out my latest uh, virtual magazine. The new one will be back out on October 4th. We're all working on that. Uh, follow me on Instagram. If you'd like to send an email to get a personal reading please do so or message me on Instagram about everything, okay? So I like to take in three deep breaths to get more open, more receptive and mindful of this energetic read for a general read for our Scorpios. So let's inhale that good ass prana with a smile. And exhale when no longer serves you. <sighs> inhale that good ass prana with a smile. And exhale when no longer serves you. <sighs> inhale that good ass prana with a smile. And exhale when no longer serves you. <sighs> Inhale the good-ass prana with a smile. Next one no longer serves you, but can serve the universe. Mm. I love breath. I love breathing deep, baby. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm telling the narrative. You feel me? So we definitely got the chalice, and I got some downloads about that. And, you know, take the time that's needed, but don't stand in that energy of sorrow forever, guys. All right? because you want to forgive the person of the past and you want to forgive yourself, okay? Forever thinking that someone can take your energy, okay? So thinking that someone can make you feel any way than how you want to feel, all right? A lot of you guys learn a lot from your ex, okay? Your business partner, from that family member, you guys have been learning a lot, okay? Now it's time to really get into, become more masterful with the things that you weren't aware of before that you are now aware of now, okay? That you're aware of now. So we got the Magician and Mirror. We got Cornucopia. I forgot what the name of the deck she said already, okay? Just go back to the video. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to keep up as best as I can, all right? <laughs> and then we have Care and Connection, okay? And... You could be a life path five, life path three, life path one, two, and four is what I got right now. You could be a 53-year-old Scorpio watching this. You could have an 11-year-old or 14-year-old. You could be a 14-year-old watching it, but I don't think so. I think uh, YouTube switched up my stuff. It's supposed to be 18 and over, I believe. But anyway, um, yeah, you could have an 11-year-old or 14-year-old. But uh, you 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 should. some of you guys should really be feeling real abundant right now. Some of you guys could still be dwelling over past energy but that's okay okay you're supposed to get what you need out of that so you're ready to become more mas masterful all right so you're ready to anchor more of that mirror energy so you're ready to look in the mirror and be like can i go the next seven years like this can i really go the next 13 years like this if i'm like this now with all this energy and this craziness and chaos and i'm at the eye of the storm like some things need to switch up so that i can get to my cornucopia because everybody deserves their cornucopia and some of you guys are really experiencing this so you guys could be uh experiencing the harvest you can be planting planting more uh for the fall harvest 
okay depending on where you are of course you want that you want that deep connection and you shall have that deep connection for everybody that's trying to oh when is he coming oh like women and men you guys have to really stop that you have to really stop that and i honestly feel like you're not really seeing what god wants you to see which is the present okay you have to understand and understand guys if God wanted this other lover in your life at this time, they would be there. You, there is, there you don't, you don't, there's things to question God about and there's other things not to. And he wants you to perfect this relationship within self, okay? You have to realize, guys, a lot of us have been programmed to think that we need a relationship right away. We need to uh, have this and this and this all lined up around such and such time. Now, when I'm saying this, this is man's programming. That's man's time, okay? You're working on divine's time. You're working on God's time. And right now, with everything that's going on, you have to look global. You can't just look at the, the, the micro. You got to look at the macro of things too. And you have to realize like, ladies, you, ain't, you really don't want to be with somebody right now in all this craziness. A lot of up, uprising is coming within us and that's why it's also showing on a physical level with all riots and wars and people versus the government because these things are already coming up through us so right now you want the divine masculine to really heal and then you as well want to really heal so that you can as a woman turn your man into a real man and as a man you turn your woman into a real woman all right and y'all play the divine roles that you're presently supposed to play okay not not what you're playing around in thought but presently okay God made us all perfect. It's men that has taught us that we're not perfect. It's men that taught us, oh, if I'm not in a relationship, I'm not perfect. All right. Before my twin flame journey, before ever knowing what that fuck, shit, I mean, whatever that stuff was, I ain't just trying to say fuck shit because that's just my shadow side. But there's a lot of things that goes on in a twin flame relationship where people have to be very mindful of what they ask for. Okay, very, very mindful because it makes you look at yourself and everything that you've gone through and all your lifetimes here and stuff like that. It's a lot of healing, a lot of crying, a lot of like breaking conditional love to step into unconditional love, having to forgive your partner, having to forgive yourself. Once again, five of five of chalice. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive this person, even if it's from a distance. Fuck them, all right? You've put too much emotion and energy into that. It's time for your cornucopia and start caring about the connections around you. Start caring about your connection with source because that's another thing too about the twin flame journey or soulmate journey, don't matter what it is. God will always show you how much more important y'all relationship is together than, um, than it is with your twin flame. Twin flame is dope. It's a catalyst to make bring about power couple change and all that shit. But you're, it's always about God. Oh my God, I know if some of y'all, I hope you, you guys understand and overstand. I know y'all understand and overstand. I'm sorry, I'm really passionate about this because just God just be flowing. God just be really, oops, sorry. Sorry guys. God just really be flowing through and I, I really want y'all to feel that energy, that passion of this, this truth that I'm speaking because I didn't sweat it, man. I was enjoying my life. I will always enjoy my life, whether and this is this is how powerful the twin flame path is. And and you're speaking to a, a to a person that's in this journey. Like it don't matter if I'm with her or not. I'm still gonna always have my unconditional love for myself and her at a distance. And I can always feel that. I'm never gonna not love her. I, no matter what goes on through our lives, like. Whether if God makes us move forward in different ways, like I'm always like, that's what this shit teaches you. Unconditional love. It's not conditional love. And then, yeah, you might feel scorned or scarred and hurt and all that stuff at first. But then when that when that confusion and toxicity and stagnancy goes away, like you realize love, love is all there is. Love, love has to guide us, not fair, straight up. OK, so all of you that really, really want this. OK, you got to really want yourself, too, because it's not it's you got to and then you got to really want to do the work, because if you can't do the work with yourself, there's not going to be no sustainability in a partnership. It'll be hard because you have to also remember, man, everybody has their walk and their expansion. So everybody's going to come with something. And if you cannot deal because, you know, you have your own stuff going on, all your triggers then it's going to be harder to deal with somebody else because if you're not dealing with yourself appropriately. I mean, you're always going to deal with yourself, but there's a balance. There's a way of maintaining um, 
good, healthy relationships with yourself and with anyone else. So you're in yourself. I would always tell women and men, you're in yourself. And the more you do that, the more you're going to have the caring connection that you want. Care about yourself. Just really, you got to really look and think. And we want to pause for a second. Just get back into our meditative space and be like, how long have I been given outside of me going through from relationship to relationship for me to finally realize I have to give to myself? Even if that means taking a year to five years to myself or 10 years. Yo, when you do get the, that deep connection that you want, it's going to be even more worth it. You're going to have more humility and gratitude. Sometimes you got to realize God's not going to just throw it at you because he... she. They, he, she wants to really make sure that you're going to cherish this. People say they want this, this, and that. And when they get what they want, they're still like a little spoiled entitled brat. So, you know, you just let's just stay humble. Take this time of COVID. And because things are not going to go back to normal, guys. So we want to really take this time to do our self work. Because this, this your spiritual power is going to be really important into the years moving forward. And if you don't have... Good spiritual power, like powerful anchor, like you're going to be really in chaos and depression and sorrows. And it's just going to get worse is what I'm saying, unless you start getting right with it. And this is how you get to the solution. That's the, what the masculine energy is here to tell tell you. This is how you get to the solution. To, you got to look at the solution to your problems and you want to get right with it. You want to get really right because when you really enjoy your peace and all that, yo, everything that you want it just attracts so much more effortlessly you know before my twin came i wasn't always seeking outside of myself oh when this relationship no i was doing my work i was like oh i gotta get myself right as a man you know what i mean i gotta learn about business so that when i when i do get with my queen we can build with each other i gotta i gotta get my shit together you know i gotta keep getting my stuff in order and then as i was i thought i had to get more of my shit together before my twin came actually but god was like all right you ready Boom, plain sight. You, I don't have to think. I don't got to. No, it's in plain sight. It's going to be right there in front of you. And it's going to be awesome because it's going to happen. It's going to be magical. Okay. And it's going to happen when you're enjoying your, your cornucopia and you're in your abundance. And yo, everybody that's done a garden this year, I just want to say mad love to you. Okay. I'm sending healing energy to you because you're on your independent path. You're on it. And that's awesome because as sovereign beings, it's good to take control over the things that we can control. And we don't want Walmart and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's to be controlling our foods all day. We wanna also put our hands in the soil, put a seed, water it, and have it grow, okay? This this, this, this will change a lot of things. And then even the way we consume, because we, we waste more than we, we, we take in. So yeah, definitely. So I really feel like your perspectives is changing. All right, you, you, you went through a sense of setback. Okay, some sense of disappointment, but you're gonna get through it. Okay, try your best not to be thinking about what someone else is doing to someone else because that's just only gonna draw more energy outside of you. You don't want people in your head unless they're paying you. You have to understand and understand that, guys. If they're not paying you and you're a landlord, you gotta kick them the fuck out. Okay, ground yourself. Dream journal. All right. Health checkup. Okay. A lot of that's going on right now. Shout out to my 25-year-old Scorpios, my 20-year-old Scorpios, and my 26-year-old Scorpios. I'm glad that you guys are hearing me at the ages that you are now so that you can continue to elevate in a, in a, in a way of betterment. All right. If you're vibing on the frequency that I'm choosing to vibe on as well. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. We already said that. It's really important. To really ground yourself, especially if you're feeling this uh, five of chalice energy. All right, you're the magician of your life. Please understand and overstand that. Please keep writing. If you're writing books, if you're writing um, uh, magazines, if you're writing a series, comic books, any kind of book, anything, anything of writing, keep doing it. If you're writing songs, keep doing it. Okay, some of you guys already just recently got your health checkup. Some of you guys are going to get a health checkup, okay? Or your kids are. Some of you guys could be a nurse or a doctor watching this. All right, that's awesome. So 
you got the Western side and the Eastern side medicine. Like, all right, you're a doctor that's been transforming and crossing over like a Bruce Lipton type of feel. You know, you still be helping with the medics and this and that, but then, or you could be a holistic doctor. Okay, okay, or nutritionist, <laughs> a wellness coach. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm seeing Life Path 2 here as well. Okay, 2, 2, 2. We have, uh, uh, hold on. We have Life Path 6 here as well. Okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Scorpio, you're the greatest of them all. <laughs> all right. You have to truly honor yourself if you ever want anyone to honor you. If you want, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want people to care about you the way you care about you, you, you have to keep putting that energy. Or you got to keep, the more you care about yourself is what I'm simply trying to say. The more, the one that you really want to care for you, they will. It's an energy game, man. Always take the path of least resistance. So don't don't resist the now. Don't resist what's going on right now. Okay. Of course, imagine you that the, what you really want to bring here. Okay. But but then release it and allow it to come into play. And then from time to time, come back to that space. That's what I used to do. I would come back to the space. I'd be like, Yo, I'm gonna have a woman that's gonna understand and understand me. Now, did I know how it was all gonna play out? Hell no, I didn't choose to know that. I'm not choosing to, like, and I have a lot of sp spiritual friends that got hella gifts. I don't want to know everything. There's no point of that. Okay, some of you guys can be massage therapists, Reiki healers, all right? We got um, spend, spend time with animals, deep breathing, and massage. Some of you guys uh, probably need to get an animal, you know, to help ex expand your heart, expand your family, okay? That's a good relationship, too, to start with an animal before um, connecting with a significant other. You know, helping to take care of somebody else will really help you learn. I mean, yeah, helping to take care of somebody else, like an animal, a cat or a dog, you know, um, fishes or anything of that sort can really uh, assist with opening your heart space and getting really grounded and knowing what it takes to be in a relationship, you know, that level of commitment. Because a lot of people are not ready for a certain level of commitment, guys, because they haven't done the work in themselves. If you have not committed to yourself, you cannot commit to anybody else. Once again, guys, we are reprogramming, okay? We're going inside out. It's not outside in. It's inside out, okay? And then even if the things reflect on the outside, it's because of the inner work that you've done. You feel me? You have, if, if watch this video a few different times and watch my other videos and, re, and, and take notes to help you reprogram your brain. Listen to how I'm consciously taking the effort to um, think a certain way. Once again, five of chalice, perspectives. Your perception is reality. I'm shifting my perception. I've changed, I changed the picture so that what I really, especially if the picture is not what I want, I change the picture to what I want so that I can attract that and bring that. And then I take the steps every single day and still open. And I'm just like, ah, I'm just deep. I'm breathing deep. I'm breathing deep and I'm relaxed. Cause you know why? Breathing deep to keep you present. It keeps you out of your head. It keeps you in your cornucopia. It keeps you focused on your ancestors, your guides, the ones, the, the, the things, the people that are present. It keeps me focused on my son, my girl, you know, the, the, the relationships that matter the most. Okay, you could be a 48 or soon to be 48 Scorpio watching this. You could be a 19 year old Scorpio watching this. You could be a 34 or soon to be 19 or 34 year old Scorpio watching this. You could have a 19 year old and you could be teaching them the importance of breath. All right, guys, this is really, really important. You want to really learn to observe, be a third party of your own thoughts and understand and understand um, what they're doing, what it's doing, what it's trying to tell you and how to filter through them. And then you, with the thoughts, you know, the center council, the, the headquarters of the brain, you want to really filter out the bullshit. All right. And that's even with the health checkups. OK, your doctors are not God. Please understand and understand that. All right. But if you want a real powerful book, um, creditable book, Bruce Lipton, Biology of Belief. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of this. So, sorry, some stuff dropped. I got to pick it up. Um, But epigenetics, the power of belief, 
okay? And I'm walking proof of this as well. My whole life has been a power of belief, okay? And if you look at your life really closely through meditating and your dream journals and being grounded, you will be able to see that as well. Some of you guys really need to ground yourself. Some of you guys really need to be with Mother Earth, okay? And really breathing in that fresh ass prana, all right? Some of you guys probably need to also eat more healthy foods, okay? Because this will also increase, increase the healthy patterns within your mind. Everybody approaches different. I have a really powerful cerebral, king of swords energy, so... You know, I don't, I don't fucking play within my head. I do, I do not allow dirty, like dirty thoughts is one thing, but I'm talking about like uh, toxic, crippling um, thoughts that's looking to make me digress instead of uh, ascend. And I'm all, I'm all about ascension. All right, so make sure you spend the time outside, getting grounded, utilizing your dream journals, getting this writing on, stay focused. Okay, make sure that you're not working too hard, where you know you're not having your health in check. Some of you guys. Massaging your feet, your arms, your limbs, you and your twin or your soulmate is doing a lot of this as well, which is awesome. And that's good, man. So if you're on your feet a lot, you know, putting in that 8 to 12 hour shift, please massage your feet. Ask your husband or your wife to do so for those that have that partner. And then for those that are in um, the union just with self right now, please um, massage your own feet. Okay. Take care of yourself. If you don't want to do it, get the little china woman or china man to do it i'm just kidding but you, you know what i mean i ain't even i didn't even try to be stereotypical it's just you know the majority of the people that be yeah and they majority of the people that be owning it so yo know, more power to them shoot i'll own one of those shoot night night of wands in reverse we got nine of cups in reverse okay and then we got the hermit so some of you guys could have been dealing with a sagittarius aquarius some here in taurus capricorn or virgo all right um, this person that you're dealing with, they probably or dealing with, they probably have some health. They probably have some health issues going on. Okay, they do care about this connection, but they rather hide face. They rather um, be in the front. All right, you no longer see this as uh, you know um, wish fulfillment due to the fact that uh, they're just like you know putting on the front, putting on the mask, and we're like mask up, like, mask up, right? So yeah. Yeah, you're tired of their carelessness. You're, you, you, you're tired of being patient with this. You know, um, some of them could be dealing with a lot of drugs. Just end it going into a very uh, toxic, toxic cycle. And you're just no longer about it. Okay? They're just no longer about it. You just don't see uh, how this can um, be a thing anymore. And I don't blame you. You could have been dealing with somebody that was all talk, no action. Just giving you a false dream in your mind, planting seeds in your mind that this and this is going to happen and and never it does, you know, like sleight of hand. Could have been, they could have been a magician in their own right. I mean, we all are, right? They could have been a dark lord. <laughs> they were like, Luke, come to the dark side. <laughs> Force is strong with the Scorpio group. Once again, guys, hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment. Okay, subscribe if you have not subscribed. All right, let me know if this resonates. Check out my personal channel. Follow me. Check me out on Patreon for the extended read. Okay. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my music. All right, we got... Queen of Swords in reverse, Princess of Pentacles, upright, and then the Sun card in reverse. Excuse me. This Earth sign is in doom and gloom, or this Leo man. They are. They are. They are. They really, or they're doing a lot of shadow work right now to come back to you, or this is just you. Uh, doing a lot of shadow work. Um, but yeah, they they see you as the ice queen. Okay. You're just a person of fairness and truth. All right. 
and you're clever in your own mind too. You don't allow people to play with your own mind. You know how to be, you know how to anchor in your own earth sign energy and be down to earth and practical and analytical and assess the situation and see, you know, the logic of it. Okay, not just the emotion of it. They could have really been driving you uh, emotion, me mentally and emotionally, okay? And that can create a lot of chaos and confusion within really thinking practical and being grounded and down to earth when you're really in the space, in the space room, okay? Because that voice in our head, guys, their time doesn't operate with our inner world, all right? You can look at past, present, and future within, within us. You feel me? So a lot of you guys was trying to say the future or focus more on the future, but not really the present and seeing what's truly going on right there. Okay, that's for some of y'all. Or some of you guys, you know, you want to hold on to it because of the, the things that you guys have gone through in the past. You know, you don't want to waste your time, quote unquote, wasting your time when you're never wasting your time, Scorpio, honestly. All right, my twin has also had to remind me of that today. Okay, Scorpio. So I really love y'all. Really hope this read helped, okay? I did a lot more um, downloads and cards, but that's okay. God had a lot of things to say through me. I love y'all. If you could send a dollar or two, that would mean a lot to me, okay? Get a personal reading, that would mean a lot to me, all right? For anybody that really want to be spilling their, you know, stuff that's going on, realize this energy that you're, you're shifting to somebody else. So yeah, definitely love donations all the way before you think you could just uh, throw everything at me, which is just like thousands of people throwing everything at me. So, it's, you know, but anyway, just be mindful and I'm, you know, being the same. I love y'all. Follow me on Patreon. Check me out over there. Check out my Twin Flame channel. Follow me on Instagram. Email me if you need to. Get a personal reading. Send a donation. Check out my music. Check out my virtual magazine. And I love y'all. Check out the bit, uh, Sweet and Bitter Bath and the Reiki sessions that we have over there too. And then even with this Patreon, I want to have meditation sessions and all these cool stuff. Yoga sessions. All right. It's going to be it's gonna be lit. I'm, I'm excited. And I appreciate y'all and gratitude. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. My time is now. All I got is now.